Devon. Yes, sir. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, I'm Mr. Bouvier. I'm Shayna Taylor. I'm Michael Broadnax. I'm Asia Dawson. I'm Alvin King, and this is We Speak. gentlemen and welcome to another episode of we speak tonight's show is all about i speaks where we throw all and whatever t comes to our mind on the table and we talk about it uh joining us tonight is one of our guest panelists uh mike welcome to the uh, we speak panel welcome so i'm sure you have an i speak that you're going to throw on the table but i'm going to start first because i'm all about discrediting donald trump <laughs> a gentleman by the name of caleb andrew bailey He's one of Donald Trump's top delegates. He was uh, actually caught, uh, he was caught because they found child pornography all over his computer. In addition to that, when they raided his house, he had bombs and guns in his mm. house that he was shipping out. Wow. And this was in, uh, I want to say, a part of uh, Maryland. He, he lives in, in Maryland. But he, again, he's one of Donald Trump, Trump's top delegates. Um, is this the kind of person that uh, is this person who's running for the presidency? Is this the kind of person that he hangs out with, or you know, I mean, I'm sure there's other people. Well, it's, around it's at least like the people that. he's attracting. Attracting. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, this person was a, being a delegate, a top delegate, as mm -hmm. the news put it. Is this the person that feeds money into him, or what? 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 What, what does that? They mean? go to the convention. Right. So as a delegate yeah, representing yeah. Uh, Donald Trump. Right. Oh. And they throw so their th vote behind him. And this is what, you know, when they have these uh, elections, that's where they're getting delegates. And so right. he's one of the delegates that he, Donald Trump. Okay, won. so then he's not close to Donald Trump. They're not friends. He but it's guilt by association. Oh, so, because, so this guy just voted for Trump. So would he be a he's, delegate, whoever he's a delegate. He's a delegate. the nominee was? He will go to the convention uh -huh. and, and represent Donald Trump. And so that. if there's like 500 people in there when they call Donald Trump, because I've seen this during the convention, right. and they stand up and they say, well, Will this delegate stand up for something? He's the person that stands up first and say, whatever. He I gives the for the state of Maryland. He, he represents right. the state. Oh, right. I got. I don't care. Well, I do, <laughs> because because there, there's no direct connection other than him saying I support Trump. Trump's not saying I support him but or we're friends or we know each other. These are serious charges, though. No, no, no. They, no, the charges right, are serious. Right. But I'm saying as far as connecting this guy in any type of proximity to Donald Trump, other than okay, so I'm a voter. So it's almost saying that this guy vote is voting for Trump. So Trump isn't responsible for what his voters do. I agree, but I will say this. At the Nevada um, support rally for Bernie Sanders, and there was violence that broke out. Right. Because Bernie Sanders supporters are fighting and acting the fool. He came out and publicly denounced their behavior. And that's commendable because he... He, they don't they don't stand for him, but they're voting for him and they're his supporters. But he's saying, yeah, they support me and you can support me all day, but just know I don't stand behind your actions. This is Bernie Sanders. Yes, mm -hmm. and he Sanders. said yes, and he said just that. So therefore, what I'm I, so what, what did Trump I'm, say? He said, nothing, he and that's the thing. He, he, he said never said yet. anything. Okay. But even when they had all that violence at his at his rallies, he never denounced it. Never, didn't, never separated himself from the violence. Right. Sometimes he encouraged it. Well, he encouraged, he encouraged it. it. Get her out of here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And now we'll pay his lawyer fees for punching him in the face and whatnot. So. And that's he, why it's a problem for this delicate to have this, this, right. have this issue and, and, and pornography, yeah. which everybody. What's well, a serious he didn't issue? Distance himself from it. Donald Trump has not distanced himself and said, "Hey, I don't stand for that, and I denounce everything this man stands for." Yes, you're right, a delegate for Trump, but I denounce everything you stand for in this stance. Just like Bernie Sanders said, I denounce the violence at my rally. You're coming to my rally and I denounce how you but behave. But aren't we so beyond expecting right? Donald Trump to do anything right? Yeah. right. Uh, yeah, we're I'm beyond. past that. Like, I'm over that. Like, it's not so what's happen. the time frame? Let's assume it wasn't Trump. What would the mm -hmm. time frame be that we think is reasonable whereby in which he needs to make a statement about it? Who is this, Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, let's about, assume it wasn't uh, about, Donald about Trump. About this guy? Yeah. Period. Donald Trump never wastes time to make statements. So, for example, when he's angry about mm -hmm. something, if he hears something, 
Hillary Clinton said something yesterday about him. He's tweeting about it. He him. is immediately tweeting, immediately on somebody's radio show, immediately on somebody's news show and saying, that old hag and just dogging her, whoever it is, making Kelly, he didn't like her, it's Hillary Clinton. So he's a me, he's quick. Well, he he's just, quick. He just got with interviewed by, by Megan Kelly last yeah, I night. I saw that. Yeah, she and they're caved. friends now. She caved. She, she, yes, yeah, she, she did. Yes, she, she did. Really, she's she did. She's I was so shocked. You know, but, 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 but what do you expect? You know, she's a Fox News anchor person. I oh, expect she, to stand for yourself because no. he sat there and said they all this stuff. They probably told her not Stop. to. They probably told her she's to keep up. I expected right. her to stand for who she is, for stand for herself, stand up for herself. I expected of her, but obviously, like you said, she's a. Fox contributor, and they told her right. what to say. She wants her right. job. Right. But come on, I expected they told more her to pipe from, down. from me. I did. I did. But I, the point is, answer your question, immediate, because he's immediate with everything else. He's immediate with calling people stay fat on kids. Trend. Yes. Stay on trend. Mm -hmm. Do you do what you what you normally do? Stay because that's in that, to me, because you're not denouncing immediately like you do with everything else, you're supporting it. Right. Well, this is a story for people who are anti Trump. They can use this as ammunition to say, see, this is the kind of people he's, you know, he's attracting. Please but, do. But, um, you know, it's a it's a bit of a stretch. Nothing has stuck on him. No. Everything yeah, that right. he does. Right, Teflon Don. Has stuck. And I don't want people to get lost in pinning something on Donald Trump that they forget about these serious charges against this man. Like, right. okay, it's, let's put yes. Donald Trump to the side. This man right. had bombs that he was shipping out mm -hmm. to God knows where. And porn. And, and, and right. 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 Child right. Right. Let's child not get that lost. Right. Right. Let's not get that lost. <laughs> well, I don't think right. it's going to go away. Believe me. I um, and when, when, when I when I heard the story today, it, it's not, it's not going to go away. But again, my point of my eyes <laughs> <You're blowing laughs> is to <laughs> discredit <laughs> Donald Trump and to let everybody know these okay. are the type of people that you let's discredit. Oh, okay, okay, so oh, okay. that's my idea. These men will most likely not be president, but they showed us that we have common interests, we have common grievances, and in numbers we are powerful. We threaten the establishment of both parties with righteous indignation, and if we don't continue the conversation, the media will end it for us. Obama should have been a great awakening for the American people. It's not enough to participate in heavily choreographed elections every four years. The parties that you're in many cases required to join to even participate in democracy don't have your best interests in mind anymore. And we know that now for a fact, Republicans and Democrats. The financial institutions we bailed out are bigger than they were before they crashed the world's economy. Our foreign policy and our trade deals make us less safe. They restrict our civil rights, wreck our environment, and repress the people of other countries while making a handful of oligarchs rich. It is class warfare and first class is winning. But we're connected now. The secrets are slipping, consciousness is rising, and business as usual is over. If you stand for justice and truth, don't just do it from behind a computer screen. Get out into the streets when necessary. Vote out your representatives. Run for f***ing Congress. When Bernie Sanders says we need a political revolution, we take it with a grain of salt because it's being broadcast on CNN. But that's it. That's what we need to solve our problems. Not a president. And we know that, right? But we continue to voice our complicity through our inaction. If you're angry, you should be. And if you want change, you gotta fight for it. But let's fight together. Our lives depend on it. And don't give way to cynicism because this is just the beginning. And don't expect salvation from those who seek to divide us because we can only find it within each other. We're connected. We're awake now. I was in Mexico mm -hmm. this past week, and they have T-shirts with pictures of Donald Trump that says F Trump. Mm -hmm. And it was the funniest thing in the world to me because you're now making money off of a picture of his face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he speaks about, I, mean, like, I was in Mexico, I wasn't in LA saying, oh, I'm going through this tunnel and I feel like Mexico. I was literally in Mexico. And so the people in Mexico are selling shirts <laughs> with Donald Trump's face, his image. And I get the, I mean, just, I was thinking maybe just have the words and not his face. It's right. just, it, it was just really weird. Mm -hmm. I almost bought one they didn't have it in my size. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to feel, I'm, I'm, I, and I'm, what was so weird about it for you in that regard? Well, first of all, that it's our candidate here doing something, so it's crossed over the border. Okay. Well, so I could see if they were selling them in San Diego, but we're now in Mexico. 
and the fact that they're watching and even care enough to comment about him and put his face, so they're walking around with his face. Well, they've Are insulted sure? his cousins who are here mm -hmm. in the United States. <laughs> they, they, he, Donald Trump has insulted <laughs> their, their cousins, right? okay? <laughs> their, their cousins and their family members and people who have come to the United States to make a better life so for themselves. They're selling t-shirts. And mean, so they're selling right, t-shirts. so that's fine, just like Beyonce has the boycott Beyonce T-shirts at her concert because you know the cops she came does. out and said that they were going to boycott. Yeah. So she, I'm gonna make money off of it's you for entrepreneurial boycott spirit. Beyonce. It's, and it's her name. And it's I her. can't wait to get to the tour and she's got in Baltimore so that I can get me a boycott <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> T-shirt. Beyonce. Back you. to Donald Trump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because any president of the United States affects the world. And so they care. Right, right. Yeah, he's arguing. And tell that to the people, people that are staying, they're going to move to Canada. If he's, he's still going to impact He's going to impact the world. Let's, let's, the, be, let's be sensical about this. Let's not be nonsensical and foolish. Mm -hmm. He's going to impact the world. That's why the world leaders are also watching this. That's why he's you remember, be president. Right, because they're, they're going <laughs> right. to hate us even more. Right, right. Remember when Barack Obama was running in 2008? And he was going to different countries, and people were dogging him, like, well, why are you, you're not even president yet. Why are you doing that? Because, numb nut. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to establish <laughs> diplomatic ties now. Your relationship is trying to open up communications. <laughs> right. Um, because George Bush severed them. The new mayor of London is Muslim. Yes, mm -hmm. the first one. And he schooled Donald Trump, you know, mm -hmm. teaching about Muslims and how you can be a Muslim mm -hmm. and live in the regular mm -hmm. society mm -hmm. right. and whatnot. And uh, mm -hmm. so everybody, all the foreign leaders are looking at him. Some are shaking yes, their heads. Some are laughing. We're, we're, we're looking cartoonish, you know. They're not going to respect this guy. No, no, even no, less. No, no, they're, 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 they're not going to do it. It's on us to stop sexual assault. To get in the way before it happens. To get a friend home safe. And to not blame the victim. It's on us. To look out for each other. To, to not, not look, look the, the other way. way. It's on us to stand up. To step in. To take responsibility. It's on us, all of us, to, to stop, stop sexual, sexual assault. assault. Learn how and take the pledge at itsonus.org. Coming back in? Okay. Uh, how am I coming we back in? I want you to do the 17-year-old boy. Do the 17-year-old boy. Okay. I'm gonna talk about the 17-year-old. Oh, God, Lord. Um, no. Okay, you ready? Say no. I'm okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is it cute? It's cute. <laughs> it's delicious. It's cute. 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 It's cute
Yeah, it's cute. Good. It is. That's good. She's quiet now. It's cute. Good. <laughs> <laughs> a 17-year-old African-American student from Louisiana was charged with pornography after he sent a 16-year-old white female a new video through his cell phone. Now, this was in response to one that she sent him first. Some studies have found that 54% of kids under the age of 18 have done this before. Um, when I talked about or thought about this I speak, two things came up. The double standard. Now, male, f we all know that sex text, sex texting, sex texting, sexting mm -hmm. is huge. It is. But in this case, because he sent, now he sent her one after she sent him one, but he got charged. But his age. He, Who's older? Huh? He is. He's he older. Is. He's, he's older. older. Okay. But for like a year, I think. But, but can he, we talk about the racial part of it? Because that's because that's they're all saying it is. a white. They said white. And me too. And listen, and that when you immediately said it, I rolled my eyes like, gosh, I'm so sick and tired of this. So he, he sent a picture of himself to her. Yes. In response to a picture he, that, that she well, sent. Well, he's 17. So a 17-year-old sent a picture, and then a 16-year-old had sent a picture, but it's child porn. Did he say because child porn 16. or did they say porn? It was just. I think it was, it, 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 I think it was child porn. It was child porn because, it's it's child porn porn because he's older than Cause her. Because she's, Cause she's 16. She's under age. In Louisiana, she's under age. Okay, that's fine. And I see a good lawyer tearing that up. Yeah. I hope so, but no, because it's I remember. Definitely prejudice. Definitely. It's definitely. I remember several years ago. But what I was is living the in law? Pennsylvania. I'm telling you, he went to jail. Okay. This little boy went to jail. But I'm, I'm, I'm just jail. saying, these teenagers have to know the things that they are doing. They have to know the right. law because right. they're going to get you at every turn right. if they can. They especially do. Especially if you're brown. Thank so you. I, and that's I, what it's I, can't, I can't be too upset about that. If the law separates him from her because he's 17 and she's 16, then that's fine. I'm sorry. But then that would be statutory form? Like, because that's the only reason it would matter that he's older than her because otherwise, if they're both children, by law, she's considered by both, law. She's, she's a kid. Not a he's child. not. Right, right. He's not the kid, but she's considered the child because she's underage. But the, but the she's porn 16. that he sent was not of her. It was of himself. He. So right. is, that, is that like a statutory well, rape her, porn? Her picture it was in his is phone. In his phone. It was as in well. his phone. Yes. Even though she sent it, that's yeah, what I'm that's saying. Weird. It's, it's white and black. So he was supposed to delete it. I want to be in that court. Mm -hmm. So the child porn was because he possessed. A mm -hmm. yes. picture of a 16, not that he Under sent age. the picture. The fact that he right. possessed. Oh, he well. possessed a picture of a But she sent it. She That's sent it. That's he didn't the twist her arm. He didn't it. go and take, take her phone and say, look, give me your phone. Mm -hmm. Let me but send this to me. But it's the same, because when you think about it. But she's not pressing charges, so it's. No, when pedophiles no. are they, caught they, with, they with have porn, possession and of they it. have possession of it, and right. even though other people have sent, sent it to them, it's porn. There it is. So it's the same thing. That's the thing. But what's disgusting about this is because they they distinguish between white versus black. They did in the news article. Well, they One. said it. Mm -hmm. right. So why are you saying that? Why are you making that distinction? Because I want to know. Because just like when I hear the story, I'm like, I is know. he white? Is he black? I do. I want to know every story. It's going to people to check the story out. Yeah, I want but every story. Is, I want to know the, all the details in every they story. They need to change the laws because there was same thing happened up here a couple years ago. White kids, white boy and young white girl. Sexting? Sexting, mm -hmm. and he got charged, and he cried like a baby. Got a lawyer and everything. He got off. He got off. He got off. But the black boy mm -hmm. in Ohio did not. I know, and it was consensual. And it was consensual, and he, I was, I cried. The laws are one. different. And no, I cried because levels. he was a good boy, yeah, he was a and he sent him to jail for years. Thank God he got out. They gave him a scholarship to school, and he did better. Mm -hmm. But the fact that that young, innocent boy was in, jail, in jail for jail years mm -hmm. because a consensual sex act happened. The white girl, I think it was oral sex, wasn't it? Something like that. It was oral sex. <laughs> she got caught. She right. said it was consensual, <laughs> but she said it was consensual. But, but, her but, parents, her but parents. the parents did it, mm -hmm. and he went to jail. Yeah. Well, well, promising young boy. And this is where parents me, need to start talking to their children about these things and not letting these things all of a sudden happen. That's my right. that, that's, that, that's my point too. And also no, let, no. let me make a correction. It was a video that was sent and not a pic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a video if right. that makes um, you know, the situation any better, worse, so nasty. Well, it's understandable. No, the sign of the um, times. It, I mean you know, that's yeah, why kids communicate now to Is it a song? But, Snapchat me that yeah. But I think goes down in the, the mom down brought up what was on my yeah. mind. You know, we parents need to start talking about sex texting and mm -hmm. all this sexting or whatever it is. Right now, I don't care if their kids are, if they have a cell phone, 
Yes, right? there needs to be start that with the cell talking phone. about it because you know a lot of them, a lot of people give them these cell phones and think, well, I'm only giving it to Johnny because he's gonna call me, and let me know he's at school. <laughs> you a fool. <laughs> that phone is you hot. You a fool. I'm Johnny's gonna, phone is hot. No, I don't have kids, <laughs> but parents. You a fool if you That's think that only though. Johnny's calling truth. you Thank right. at home. Let's when they get to school or wherever, they are mm -hmm. playing on these phones and figuring out mm -hmm. all these little apps and yep. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So parents need to really talk to their children about right. this kind of thing and let them know what the laws are right. and how they can get into trouble right. at this. Right, right, right. I mean, and how it affects your future. You put something out in cyberspace, it stays it's out there. Forever. It stays out there. Stays out there. But these millennials, they have their own communication. They have words that they can use and say in their text, and as a parent, you have to know what they're really That's saying true. because they have, these, different they have this code yeah. talking that they have. If I see codes things. in your phone, I'm taking your phone. <laughs> Speak <laughs> English <laughs> on this English. phone that I'm paying for. <laughs> you know, and I can I, I I can't I can't say her name, but she, she's a good friend of mine, and she has a daughter who just turned uh, 15. And I mean, th this girl at 15 years old, I promise you, I mean, she's just blossomed into this like she looks like a woman. And she's now dating, and she's now doing the whole phone thing. Well, she was so much into the phone thing that she wasn't doing what she was supposed to do at home, mm -hmm. the chores or whatever. So her mother took her phone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look, and look through it. Hold, no, mm -hmm. she was looking through it, mm -hmm. but she took her phone. She took her phone because the daughter told her one time that she had to make a call or something. She, that's why she didn't do what, what her mother asked her to do. So her mother took her phone. So her mother said, hmm, I know you're going to school and you're getting online, when you get to school on the computer. Mm -hmm. So her mother took all of her apps and took all of her, mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she took all of her, her IDs oh, and every, took everything, That's how you do all it. of her apps, shut them down. And you know, as, when she talks to me about it, she's not really happy that she had to do that. Mm -hmm. Of course. But of course. I think she knows that she had, right. has to do that. Right. That's the important part. Right, right, right. right. She's right. not happy about it. So being a parent, you know, you got to have standards. You, you know? got to. You do. And you have to teach the children standards, and that's what's wrong today. You got to. Children don't have standards. They don't right. have parents that are really parents. They have there children that are raising them. There right. And all these shootings in D.C. Uh, this lady uh, did a story in the Post. They'd always do these stories in the Post. And this woman is living in the shelter, and she has three kids already. One child is had to go to court because he shot somebody. She didn't even go to court, you know, mm. to to support him. So. I feel bad for the children. I mean, right. the parents are lost. You, you can't save them. But the children, you should be able to save them. But they have too many freedoms and too many sure. liberties, and mm -hmm. people just don't know how to say no to their kids. And That's true. They want to be their friends, not their right. parents. Mm -hmm. Right. Because well, now I see a lot of parents giving their toddlers their phone just to make them be quiet, make them yeah. sit down. Oh, yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. like electronic babysitting. Right. Like, oh, right. here, just take my phone. Right. Like, no. And the kids know what to do. They yes, know they what do. to do. My nephew you know. was um, playing a game on my sister's cell phone, his mom, and um, her phone started um, vibrating or something. And she was like, pass me my phone so that I could see um, what's going on. He hit a button. He's like, oh, it's just so-and-so. She said she's on her way. Oh. And kept on playing the game. And and he is, he's three. Oh, wait a minute. And kept playing they the game. Know. Like, they know. <laughs> they know. Although they, 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 they know. And again, being a parent is not an easy. It sure is. It's not easy. And it's not no. easy now. And mm. I don't, I can't imagine. It's not going to get any easier. easier. It's, it's not. not. Because they always easy. say the next generation is no, always no, worse no, than no, the next. No, no. And so technology, technology is a great thing, but also can be a bad thing as, as mm. well because you're, Things happen at lightning speed now. You get information at lightning speed. You have access to literally everything, mm -hmm. any and everything, anything, anything and everything. Anything. And so it's, that's not going to go away. Once you let it out the box, you can't put it back in. Right. And so now that we have these things, and because something wants to be even faster, the next generation, or even more accessible, the next, it's, it's going to happen. So it's like, so what do you do as a parent? I, I, would, I couldn't. I don't think I could do it now. I mean, my son's 20. He'll be 22 in June. I just don't see how I could raise one now. I mean, if I had to, I would. But it's just hard. But you know, the struggle. But it's so pain. It's like, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. But if I had to, I will. But I mean not. Because it's like, now it's like, what do you do? Do you take them out of knowing and being accessible to those things so they're not, so they don't know, they're not knowledgeable, they're not streetwise, or they don't understand new technology, and then they're kind of like at a deficit? Or do you, and then they got kind of maybe shunned by their friends because they don't have the newest and greatest and the latest or can go here and there. 
but it's like, what, what do you, you do? You have to set boundaries. You, got, you, got you have to set boundaries. And you have to set boundaries from the start. You can't set boundaries after something has gone wrong. Right. Right. It has it's to be something said than that, done. Can I say this? Yeah. Can I say this? It's I, easier said than done. Right. I raised yeah. one. I, I raised you know, one. That's what I'm saying. It's I, easier I, said than done. And that's what I'm saying. Because I, I know because I have one. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, God, I don't want it. I don't. I'll just be very honest. I love my son. But I don't want to do it again. It's a great responsibility. It's not a play thing. Like, you're making decisions for someone else's life mm -hmm. that's going to stick with them for the rest of their life. And then they're going to pass it down maybe to their kids. And it's a very hard job. Yeah. And yes, he, and it's funny, today I saw this young mother with these kids. And she was screaming and cussing and cussing and just dragging them. And I was, in my head, I started to judge her at first. Mm. But then I thought, hmm. it's right. <laughs> What she's doing is hard. Sorry, she's, right. she's trying to cope. I mean, right. She's trying to yeah. cope. And ma'am, you weren't perfect. You were young, too. And but you got better as you got older. So it's like people judge me. But they still do. But they <laughs> but they judge. It's, it's important to have a support group. It you is. Have, when you have uh, children. It if is. You don't have a husband or another partner raising mm -hmm. that child. You need a support group. And if you don't have that, it's really hard. And but, you know, I see myself doing when I do see young girls like that. My heart goes out to them. And I talk to them instead of judging. I immediately say, how you doing? How are you? You know, I, I'll at least give a smile and get that judgmental thought and look mm. off my face because they don't need more of that. I'm judging and walking away. I, I don't want to. <laughs> and I'm that. looking at you like, oh, really? That's because, because you are very poppins. You got kind of, I would, yeah. Because I've seen it. And, like, I've seen women, I mean, some women, you know, talking to their kids, cursing and fussing and dragging and them down the street. Like and then they're on the phone. I'm like, if you get off your phone. And pay well, attention. And pay well attention. you can say that, though. You can say that. But oh. don't say judgmental because I've, I've done it before. Hey, he's probably. You want, I got some candy. You want to have a candy? Like, mm -hmm. help her. Like, do something. I don't and enable the judge, her. I'm sorry. I don't have that. That's not enabling. That's not enabling. Me. I'm going to be on the show. The baby that, crying on the, the metro. You're going to shut that baby up. about all just, these kids. You know what? I don't have that kind of time. No. You don't. You, you know you why? You did it. You did. You. Because you don't have it. You signed up for and that because job. You, because no. you don't know what job. it feels like. I know what it felt like. That's the thing. I know Let what it me, felt like to I, be in that. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. You ain't <laughs> have a whole bunch. I didn't have, know. I didn't have, have one. You have a whole bunch. You have one. I didn't but, have but, one. But when I see four, five, and six, I agree. And you know what? Close in age, too. You know, come on now. I you agree. Know how come on now. You know. Kanye West, oh, man. This is going to be delicious. I can tell you that much. Oh. Open. Open. Oh, drop it. And there you go. Um, excuse me, where's my plate? You don't get a plate. Why not? It doesn't matter. Um, my plate matters. Hey, all plates matter. Oh, yeah, of course they do. I'm just saying, where's my plate? Are you saying your plate matters more than mine? Yeah, my plate matters too. Okay, but you all have your plates and I don't have mine. So what's the problem with what I'm saying? And you know what? I didn't get the right drink either. I asked for a cup of Just Ice. You gave me Just Air. Who the hell orders Just Ice? I like the way it tastes when it melts. So you want water? No, I want a cup of Just Ice. What do you want? You don't get Justice. Uh, I mean Just Ice. Well, if I don't get Just Ice, you don't get a tip. No Just Ice, no tip. No Just Eyes, no tip. No Just Eyes, no tip. Hey, hey, you don't get to deny the waiter his tip. You don't know what he has to go through with these customers. He won't give me my plate. Man, you don't understand the poor man's situation and his side of the story. Everyone saw him deny me my plate in Just Ice. I didn't see that. I didn't see that either, man. Wow. Really? Well, I mean, you have a history of not tipping, so maybe you didn't deserve the Just Ice. Really? You gonna go there? Okay, you know what? Let's just ask the waiter why he didn't bring the plate and a couple of just ice. Well, he was looking at the menu for a suspiciously long time. I was ordering food. And? And? He tried to reach for one of the straws on my belt. I needed a straw. Give me a straw. Jesus, Thomas. Look, what's wrong with you, man? It's enough of that. I right, just chill. Can I get you guys anything else? No just ice, no tip. No just ice, no tip. You said you had a, a, a I speak. Oh, yeah, sure. uh, um, I know all of you, but y'all don't know me very well. One of my pet peeves is I would never go on a cruise. You would never get me to go on a cruise. I know the ships are beautiful. I know you have a great time on those. And you have, uh, the whole thing is like when you're on the ship, 
They want to make you think you're somewhere else, that you're in a mall, <laughs> that you're somewhere else. But why is it that somebody falls off the ship and they don't know when they fell off or where and there's no way to find them? So that person is just gone. Some lady fell off the boat. I know. She, but, but, but do you know Mike, how I'm she fell off, though? She but fell still, off. it's the ship's responsibility to have safety. This woman fell off the boat. I don't care if she was drunk or whatever, but I'm just saying, rail, you'll never get me on that. On that <laughs> don't sit on the rail. Yeah. Go on a cruise ship, just don't sit on the rail, drunk, and playing, thing, and then fall They said, okay, we're going to give up searching for this person. Yeah. Because you can because never find her. They're not going to find her. They're not going to find her. Mike, I'm going to tell you, and I mean, I agree with you. Well, I, know, I like cruises, but all, not all cruises are good. But that's the it, reason you but, don't want but, to go on a cruise. But Mike, I want to go on a cruise because once you Mike, get on the cruise and you're, you're with there? all of these unattractive people, oh, you're stuck oh, with no, them no, for no, seven no, days. No, I, but no. I didn't finish. <laughs> I have a list of things why not to go on a cruise. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. I'm going you because she's falling off the ship is one. Okay, okay. okay. Food poisoning is two. It's a petri dish. Okay. Bad plumbing is three. Um, that's true. Now that's true. Uh, that viruses. Uh, people have been sick. One time there was a fire on the ship. Instead of them going back towards port, they went further out to sea. That's true. That happened. I mean, recently. Maybe the wind was going to put I have a little list of many things no, that I'm still on water, So the water. The water. Yeah, but I'm sure you have a great happen. time, Shayna. No, sure. Those things happen at restaurants. Like, those things happen. They do. But it's not on water. So can you swim? Water, can you swim? I think you can you swim. I'm not, I don't have a, a definite fear. I mean, if I fall in the water, I know I could. I could stay afloat for a little bit. But all the things that you said happens at restaurants. I've been happens on people's boats hotels. in the bay, in, in here in Annapolis. I've been on small boats. I, I don't have a problem with those. But there's something cruises. about the cruise ships that is so impersonal. You're just a little mm. speck. When you fall off, nobody knows when you fell off. And I just said, here's this poor woman. <laughs> she left her kids, <laughs> and she's just I'm gone. Sorry. I'm not laughing as she, she fell off. You can do the mall when you disappear, and people don't know She went on the cruise with her girlfriend. But and they're acting up. Mike, but she was but, sitting on the rail. But is that the cruise's fault? No. Or is that her who, who has sitting taken the, the time to drink It's the behavior of the people eight? on the cruises. She was it's the false sense of security that you have <laughs> on these ships. You're very safe on the ship if you don't sit <laughs> on the rail. rail. If you don't sit <laughs> on the rail or get drunk <laughs> and, and walk out there to the at 3 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. She found her light job. But, but, but if you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and you, you get drunk and you just start walking around the cruise and all of a sudden nobody's out there and you're leaning over the rail and all of a sudden you're like, damn, that water looked good. And next thing you know, you're gone and nobody knows where you are. That's not the cruise. Yeah, that's, that's I agree. Not, it's silly yeah. not. If you walk out that's your front the, door at 4 o'clock in the morning drunk that, and just wandering and you disappear. And that you made that I don't know if my mama went on the ship and she fell off. I'd be mad at the cruise. Really? Oh, I'd be wow. mad at the cruise. Oh, okay. Because you she sat on the rail. Like she, yeah, mm, you'd be, I, I could see though. that. I would be upset just because I lost my mom. Well, I, yeah. And I would blame but you, whoever. But, Mom, don't sit on the rail. You're sitting on the rail backwards. By herself? By herself. She's sitting on the rail That was suicide. Backwards. Stop. She committed suicide. She... Inadvertently. And again, it, if, there's not. a lot of people who go on these cruises because for, when you pay one price, that means you can eat all you want, <laughs> drink all you want, and, 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 and Well, they, you can't drink all you want. Well, no, no, no you can't. You can't. Well, not for you free. Can't, you can't. Not, not for free. free. Not for free. At, at no, least, no, no, at least not, 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 not liquor. You yeah, can't you drink all you want. You can't. But you can't even drink soda all you want now. Oh, really? They, they, they charge you for the soda. All you get I'm now sorry. is coffee. I'm sorry. I'm you get, water. You don't get free water? And we mean you on the water can't get free bottled no. water? I'd I be running back to the lemonade stand just getting it. Cause they charge for it now. They don't charge me for it. They you know well, what? okay. Wherever that ship is going, I'll just fly there and meet you there. <laughs> exactly. And I'll be at my all inclusive <laughs> resort. <laughs> How about it? No, okay. Where well, you're not stuck with unattractive what? people for seven days. But no, I for seven whole days. Like, no. Then you just pull your scarf up. At least in a resort. People are they're coming and going, but on the ship, if you get on with a bunch of unattractive people, you're stuck. Well, hold on. Now, see, it all depends, <laughs> on, it all depends on what, what kind of cruise you go on because, you know, they have all kind of cruises. They got cruises where all the beautiful people go. That's Yes, they do. But it's in the eye yes, of the beholder. Yeah, yeah, yes, they may do. not be beautiful to me. Right. It's the, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I just want to so. see different people on different days. Coming and going. Yeah, coming and going. I don't. Coming. You will. Like a body of water. Fresh water comes in and sound water goes out. When you I, get off at the port. Sense. That's life. You get off at the port. You get off at, the, at, the, at some whatever port. I oh. may get left at the port if I see somebody that's too attractive. <laughs> 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 that, 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 that's just true. That happens. Um, <laughs> th there, there's an incident. <laughs> of someone I know who was a male teacher and a student said to him, I want to perform oral sex oh, on you. Man. And the shocking what part was that she, that she was a first grader. Jesus. She who said it? This. She who said it to her male teacher. To the she male approached teacher. Him. She approached the male teacher. 
She's watching porn. I, okay. Something happened to her. So he, here's the demented part of about me. Something happened to her. I want to know her exact words. She said the S word. She said she wanted to suck it. <laughs> the S word is suck, suck it. Suck, suck, suck it. That's the S word. That's today. a bad word. Uh, suck. I want to suck your. Well, she probably didn't say penis. She mm -hmm. used the other word. She didn't say fellatio. What mm -hmm. did she I want to suck your what? But what is the she point? Where, where, where are we going yeah. with Right. This? She said the D I word. Like this. Oh, she said the D she word. She said the D word. Okay, well, she said the D word. word. <laughs> so she's heard somebody say it out loud. You think? Her and nasty mama. Or something, you, think? you know, or somebody did something to her. That's what it you sounds think? like. But somebody that, did but something to her. But the person who said it, she wouldn't get that verbiage unless they said, hey, you come here, suck my... That somebody did something to her. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Someone did something to her. You think? Yes. Yeah. That's learned. <sighs> What's a learned behavior? Oh, That's a learned behavior. Or she's done something to somebody. Because somebody uh -oh. did something her to her, her first age? grader. Six years, six, seven, how's six first graders? No. First grader, six. Six some, years old. Six some years little old. boy. You don't even some know what that is. Or somebody probably somebody did something to her. Something or did something oh, to her. That's all what I, I would know, suspect. that household is damaged. That how wherever she lives, child services should be over. It there. is they damaged. Better be. It, it, it it is damaged. It is damaged. And um, so tell us the rest of the story. That is a right. True so story. what is the, well the rest I, of the story is uh, what did the, the teacher say? The teacher. Well, I don't know exactly what <laughs> she turned it in. I, the the, the teacher had to report point. it. <laughs> yes. And ha the, the teacher had to report it, and and that was the the fact was that this young child approached the teacher with that type of nonsense. I have a why question. So why is this even in the news? What was the purpose of this being in the news? This wasn't What's news. What's in the news? He's saying this is somebody this, he this knows. Was a, this was a, a friend. <laughs> oh, Lord, Jesus Christ. You identified them. Um, so we're taking Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, okay. So let's go back. Okay, okay. okay. So, go back so this say. is somebody, oh. that, this is somebody that, 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 that we, that I know. Okay. <laughs> and they relate the story to me. And they, and, 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 they, and, they, and they relate the story to me. Okay. And so, yeah, so this wasn't in, in the news. This was live oh, in okay. memory. Oh, okay, I thought that this, okay. She's like, why is this news? This, this shouldn't be no news. Live, this, live, is <laughs> this is live in the memory. Well, mm -hmm. you know, I always like to leave on a high note, but unfortunately oh, we have Jesus. to leave on this note because we <laughs> have reached, this is we have reached we, our time and we Can we please? Go. Can we end it on something we, else? We, we have like, to, can we, we end it on something better? We have to go. Well, we, we could, but... Our, <laughs> we producers, our producers might pull the carpet, actually. This was a day. heavy so, ice cream. It really was. Mm -hmm. Well, you all brought it to the table. Right? I didn't get to speak. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> D.C. Is the, is the 14th fittest city in the United States, and that's good because we were raised something, child. I, I can't, <laughs> like... <laughs> That's because we're all trying to get Michelle well, Obama's we get, arms, so we well, can have Michelle Obama's arms well, in a cop. I, I, I can't. I only go where I only go where my producers tell me to go. Well, he's so, cutting most of this out mm. anyway, so can we just add something so we can? Oh, she's I have so the Whitney is, Houston hologram and. Uh, let's do that. Let's yeah, do that. Yeah, can we do that? Come okay. on. Oh uh, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh uh, what? I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. Go ahead. Where are we going now? Go ahead. Okay, go there. Okay. Tell me when so I don't know if you all watched The Voice, but the season finale is about to come, and there has been approval that there will be a performance by Christina Aguilera and Whitney Houston's hologram. Okay. Oh. So Tupac started a trend a couple years ago with his hologram. Yes, and I, I, I saw some pictures and it, it just doesn't look like her at all. It just looks like a ghost. It well, oh. didn't like Tupac either when well, they did yes. his. Natalie Cole did that with her father. That wasn't a hologram. It wasn't a hologram. It was, was a video. That was a video. That was an actual video. And that was very tasteful. And a recording. And a recording. And I like that. But this hologram thing has just gone too far. I just think it has gone too far. Just in peace. I agree. Like, I don't want to see this soon. vision of someone that's that's passed on too soon. It's, I do if they do it right. I don't. But they're not right. And I'm a huge Whitney Houston fan. Why do they have to bring her back? Right. I, I don't like that. I, I think know. it'll be awesome if they Why do it bring right. her back? And I think Good the estate question. shouldn't have approved something like that. Just let it rest. Play her music. We don't need a hologram. I agree. Because a, a friend of mine actually said when uh, his nephew saw the Michael Jackson hologram, he said, I had to explain death to him all over again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because he thought Michael Jackson was back from the dead. I, I guess it's about the patient's branding and the money that Absolutely. they're probably yeah. making off I just of think the these image. estates I mean, of the you people. you have dead Hollywood people who still make money, yeah. whose families make money off their That's true. deceased Mayor Mar 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 well, Malone still does commercials. But they're not holograms, but still the images are still. I wouldn't approve for my family member's hologram to well, be Well, Whitney used. Houston, for one artist, is uh, probably worth more dead than she was alive. With all the concerts she was, uh, you know, <laughs> canceling and everything before she, well, she passed away. I can but, and won't with you with but, that. But, but, I'm sure, like, like, but, but, I'm, but I'm sure that her albums and CDs and music and everything has made more money right. 
since she's been dead. Well, but we don't need the hologram well, still. Well, so, I mean, but she was canceling concerts and, and not showing up to things and all that before she passed. So I know that's allegedly, another show. Allegedly, allegedly. I don't even know if that happens. I, that's, I don't know if that's true. She was late for what the year. Allegedly. She was, she what was year? late <laughs> canceling. Okay, see, she, Whitney Houston was late. A lot of times. Okay, that's okay. what I'm gonna say. But is that a high note? Where we, 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 because we, we, that was we, high enough. Was that me. high enough? Better than the last thing. Yes. All right, <laughs> ladies uh. and gentlemen, we have come to a close. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Good. you. As always, we thank you for watching, and we ask that you join us again when next we, we speak. Have a good night.